How are we doing, BeatStar fam? Half a year. Half a year ago, BeatStar started their tour pass system, and we are now on season six. Just like with the first season, we've got nine new songs and some other aesthetic perks that come with a price tag of 15 bucks. At this point, you've probably decided whether or not you're going to shell out the cash for the premium pass each month, so I'm not going to keep touching on whether it's worth buying. That's up to you. So, nine songs, an extreme, three hards, and five normals. Pretty standard spread, and thankfully we got an extreme this time, unlike last season. I'd be surprised if we saw another season without an extreme, honestly. As always, let's start with the songs and talk about the other things that did or didn't happen afterwards. Up first, we've got I Think I'm Okay by Machine Gun Kelly. Absolutely not an MGK fan, and not just because of his music. Still, this was a super popular song, and the chart's great. It's got fun rhythms, has a smooth difficulty progression, and follows the vocals pretty well. A really solid normal chart here, giving the song an A overall. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it is a well known song from the 70s that's a great addition, especially for the older Beatstar players, like me. Anyone over 30 knows this song, and the chart is easy enough newer players can learn to keep up with a bit of practice. Again, good progression, and the chart is appropriate for the song. Also giving this one an A, this was a great choice to continue covering all the Beatstar bases. Next, we've got King, which was the only song I hadn't heard before from this season. It's a catchy and uplifting pop song with a solid, but not especially unique chart, mostly due to the generic rhythms in the song itself. Still, nothing bad here at all, and I feel a B plus credits it for being a great song without giving it too much for having an average chart. Heavy Cross is, in my opinion, both the worst song of the season as well as the toughest normal to diamond perfect. This is just personal taste here, but the song is just irritating and the chart drifts around quite a bit with the vocals. It's tough to feel out the right sync here and it's annoying to score on as a result. Plus, this one is one of those songs you're just gonna miss hold ticks on. I'm gonna go with a C. It's not god awful, but just isn't very good musically or for its fun factor. The last normal is Heat Waves, which is definitely one of the most popular songs from this season. If you live in the United States and have heard the radio in the last two years, this song will sound very familiar. Ultra popular, ultra catchy, and kinda well charted? This one feels like they made it a bit too easy, as even the final stage doesn't follow the full rhythms of the vocals, which really aren't that fast to begin with. Charts like this drive me nuts, because you want to tap with all the words, but the notes just don't cover them all. Personally, I add in ghost taps, but I know this has to drive other players nuts as well. This is undoubtedly a great choice for a song in BeatStar, it's impossible to argue with that. I'm giving this an A overall for checking all the boxes, but just missing the mark for a home run if it had a slightly better chart. Now up to the hards, which were a slam dunk this season. First we've got Two Princes, a 90s song that I heard a ton growing up. Thanks mom. I feel like Space Ape tried to appeal to all ages with this update, with songs from so many different decades. This chart is good, but I don't want to give it more credit than that. It has a lot of repeated patterns that set you up for holds with the wrong finger, and the charting to the solo in the end is going to be awkward if you don't know the song, but that isn't really anyone's fault. Throwing this one a B plus for a strong song choice, but with charting that just feels a bit off the mark. Gold Dust is my personal choice for best overall song in season 6. I really appreciate them adding a drum and bass song, and this song is the bangerest of all bangers. The chart's also impressive because it's made up entirely of 8th notes, but it's both fun and just the right level of challenging. If you've seen my video on this, you'll see that the chart lends itself to a lot of finger tricks while playing, and man, it's just such a hype song. Easy choice here, this one's an S. The last hard is Montero by Lil Nas X. Huge Lil Nas fan here, and glad to see them get another song in Beatstar. The song's great, the chart's great, it's just solid all around. The difficulty feels natural and it goes well with the music. I think this is A plus material for being all around excellent but not quite doing anything innovative or unique enough to earn the S. Finally we come to our newest extreme, Sandstorm. Fantastic song choice to round out the season. It's a trance slash techno song that was extremely popular around the turn of the century. The chart is good, but I get old chart vibes from this, like the chart authors wrote this a while ago and have improved since. 
the chart is super repetitive, which does fit the song. I just feel again like they could have mixed up the patterns a bit throughout the song to make it feel a bit more creative, but I mean, it's fun. Heard a lot of positive opinions on this. It's well received by the player base. Gonna give this an A. This season didn't quite strike gold, but it did strike silver. The songs included cover a huge range of tastes, and the charts were overall very strong. After the general disappointment with the last season, this is a strong rebound that was much needed for fan faith in the Tour Pass system. Unfortunately, the Tour Pass was all that was brought to us with this monthly update, although we did get an overall positive hold swipe and hold tick change a week or two ago. No journey additions, UI changes, or anything like that. I'm starting to get the impression that journey may be done growing, and it might be time to give up what seems like false hope that more songs will be added to it. I'm sure Space Ape has something else up their sleeve for the future of BeatStar, but for the time being it seems like the future of the game is going to be consistent monthly season passes with sporadic freebie songs tossed in. Take it or leave it, it's working. BeatStar is still growing at a rapid pace and I always welcome new players and fans to the rhythm game genre. Thanks for watching and a special shout out to my Patreon donors. Until next time, I'll see you on the internet.